Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of operations with integers. This is standard 6.3D in the great state of Texas. We are using item number 11 of the 2023 released STAR test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we need to find the value of this expression. And hopefully when we see this, we are automatically thinking about, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, order of operations. So please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. So first we're going to take care of any operations within a parentheses. Now, I do see a parentheses here, but there's no operation in there. They just use the parentheses because they're going to subtract a negative. So it looks weird if it just says 35 minus minus 110. So they put the parentheses there as just kind of a buffer, but that's not actually an operation. So we don't have any of those. We don't have any exponents here. But we do have, so those are separate levels. We do have this next level. So multiply or divide, even though obviously in our little saying here, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, the multiplication comes first, but multiplication and division are inverse operations. They're at the same level. So you could do either one first if it comes left to right. And then we've got at the very bottom addition and subtract, subtraction, but that's those are also a pair of operations. They're inverse. Okay, so you could do the subtraction first if you needed to. So what do we have here? So we've got a minus. All right, so we're going to kind of do that last. Uh, we do have a division. Okay, so what are we dividing? The number right next to it. So really, we just need to divide 110 divided by 5. And it's negative 110, so I just kept that in there. It's going to end up being a negative. Okay, so a positive Dividing into a negative makes a negative. So 5 goes into 1, 0 times into 11 twice. So that's 10, right? And that's going to be 1. Okay, so 22. So it's negative 22. So I'm going to collapse this into a negative 22. So now I've got 35 minus, still have that minus, that uh, negative 22. So that's what the one, the minus 110 divided by 5 did. And then we still need to multiply by 2. So really, I've just got two different operations. I've got the subtraction, 35 minus, and I've got to multiply by 2. So I need to do this back part first. So negative 22 times 2. So negative 22 times 2, it's positive times a negative, so it's still going to end up being a negative, right? So that's going to be negative 22. Let's make that times 2. It's going to be 4. Okay, so negative 44. So that simplifies to 35 minus. I haven't messed with that minus yet. 35 minus, this is a negative 44. Right, so first, because we're, we're down to the end here. First, I divided the negative 110 by 5 to get the negative 22. And then I finally dealt with that times 2 to get me my negative 44. That's this right there. I'm done with my multiply and divide. Now I'm down to my addition subtraction. All I have is a subtraction, but I'm subtracting a negative. Right, so two negatives make a positive. So whenever you see two negatives, one on either side of your parentheses. Negative times a negative or subtracting a negative, that's like adding a positive. They just cancel each other out. So really, this is just going to be 35 plus 44. All of this works out to be 35 plus 44. That makes 79. So we use our order of operations. Right, we had to take care of the division first. Multiplication second, and finally we got to the subtraction, which ended up being addition anyways. Answer C.